Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Wars channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today, we're here with What, what We Got, got for Christmas. Christmas! And this is the first video we're actually filming in 2023. So, we hope all of you guys had a very nice and safe holiday season. Went by very fast. This is actually the last video we're filming in front of this background. So we will have a new background in future videos, but we do have a little bit of like old videos left over, so you might see some of those scattered in. But yeah, after that we're going to film a new background tour and filming because we did get a new shelf to, yes to go with this oh it's so exciting and it's a good thing we got a new shelf because we have lots of things to put on the new shelves <laughs> yeah we have he's been actually like good with um doing pin boards lately so like we have a lot more pin boards and a lot more space to put things and now since we're going to have the new shelf, we're going to have a lot more space to buy more Funkos and Jim Shores. Yes. I'm excited because, like, there have been some collections that have been expanding that, like, we needed to, like, redo. And so I'm glad this is the opportunity that we have to, like, do some new stuff and show off some new collections. Yeah. <clears throat> so this year we just kind of stuck to a budget because we had a lot of vacate. well... We have probably a lot of travel this coming year. We were just in New Orleans for New Year's. And if you're not a subscriber and uh, want to catch our New Orleans haul and trip recap video about what we did to incorporate some Disney and Princess and the Frog themed events and excursions, be sure to hit that subscribe button so be notified of when that video posts. Yeah. So we always do an ornament and a pin. So we will start with the ornaments. Well, Tim got me two ornaments this year because Tim likes to go above and beyond. <laughs> the first ornament that he got me is this beautiful uh, game controller, which kind of is like a Xbox or actually a new PlayStation controller. Here. My PlayStation controller is right next door, or below me. So, like, you can see... Oh, I just turned it on by accident. So you can see that this is, like, very to uh, scale. But I love this. And this is a beautiful glass ornament, so I love how delicate this is. Yeah, I found that at Michael's, surprisingly. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then where did you find this beautiful homemade ornament? I made ornament? that. You yeah. had that made. Aww. Well, this is so cute because this is the second ornament Tim gave me, which is a Tati and a snow globe ornament. And snow globes are really special to me. I don't think I talk about that as much as probably I should, but like, I love snow globes. I used to, this is one of the very first collections I had growing up. As a child, I love Disney snow globes. Actually, Tim, one of our, my wedding present from you was a snow globe. So I love snow globes. Uh, and what's better than a snow globe, a Tati and a snow globe. <laughs> She's over there licking herself. That's the problem with new background, is we haven't really figured out a spot for Tati, because we used to have the two benches, and so now I don't know. You know, and she's very not happy about it. <laughs> oh dear. And then the ornament he got me is this donut ornament. It's um, sentimental because we love the Simpsons, and every time we go to Simpsons land, we always share one of these donuts. So this looks like the Simpsons donut. And it's like... I don't know how to describe it, but like these all feel like sprinkles. And then the back is like ceramic? I don't know what material that is. Might be glass. But it's a glazed donut. And I actually just bought us Dunkin' Donuts today. Mm -hmm. So donuts. Mm -hmm. And then um, we will go for the pins next because... So we each got each other more than one pin. Mm -hmm. And I love these pins because as Tim was saying, I ju or we just started like re-putting up some of our other pins on our pin boards. And so I just made room for like this pin board. And so I'm so excited. This is a lounge fly pin. It is a beautiful pin celebrating 25 years of Hercules. But look at this like sliding pin action. There is Hercules and Megara up on Mount Olympus with the birds flying by saying... 
look at you. You are truly in love. You are not a demigod anymore. You are just a man, so you can hang out with Meg. But I also love how, like, sequency or and, like, glittery this, like, teal background. It is so pretty. Oh, so now I can finally take this off and put a, this gold pin back on our uh, pin board because I've been waiting to do it so, like, until we should to film this video. <laughs> and then Johnny got me all fantasy pins. He got me a lot more than I was expecting. <gasps> so this one is... says... Double Dots Pins, and this one is amazing because if you've been watching us for the past year, you have know we've been talking about Encanto a lot. So these are the three sisters, and it is a big pin, and they all have such good detail. I love like all the detail on Mirabelle's skirt. What I noticed, though, is like... It has these like weird face, like animal things on there. And her actual skirt has that, I, I had no idea. So I think like she kind of um, knows all everyone's gifts and like those go on her skirt maybe. Because one of them is the bird. One of them is like Isabella's colors, flowers. She represents the whole family. That's why she's Mary Bell. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, Tim and I also watched on like the flight and just rewatched the other night the Encanto Bowl uh, performance. Comment below on what you thought. It was fun. It was fun. I liked seeing uh, them sing. But this is the next pin got Tim got me. And it's from one of my favorite and underrepresented movies. A goofy movie. There's the front of the box. But what I love about this is this is the map. This is the map that Goofy gave to Max. And, like, this is actually a really good slider. Because it's, like, them going across the country. And I love how, like, wobbly it is. Like, it's, like, you can hear, like, the on the road. I just love it, and I love like how it just kind of is like a sh like a curve, uh, but it's just kind of fun, and I, I think I'll keep it like that because I like it kind of tilty tilt. And then you can see the state that I'm from, Michigan, and the state that we live in, uh, Illinois. All right, and then the next pen, I think you said it was from the same shop. I got all of these from the same shop, and including a bonus pen that I felt like it was weird to give you four pens, mm -hmm. so that's where I got that like cute snowy pen too. So this next one is. One of my favorite characters, it's Heimlich from Bugs Life, and it says, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And then you have a bunch of snacks over there, and like it has this really cool, like, background of like white, like, nail polishy kind of thing. And then this one is so special because you know, I collect owls. And it's the owl from Sleeping Beauty dressed up as Philip. And it's funny because <laughs> it says votes for women on there. Which he didn't know what it was from, but like you can't even really see it. Like honestly, like if you do nail polish over it. But I mean, I don't mind that it says that. No, because you know what? I think the owl, because he was dancing with Sleeping Beauty, would vote for women. <laughs> But it's kind of like one of those pins that came out just like probably during that time about women's rights that happened last year. But I mean, it's still super cute because when he gave it to me, he's like, I don't know why it says this. I'm like, I don't know either. It's cute though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Tim also got me a Funko that I didn't know existed. I already took out the box. It's been sitting in this room next to my PlayStation since uh, Christmas. But this is the Stitch Gamer Pop. And look, the little game controller, kind of like the one that I got as an ornament. He has his headphones like me, where I'm talking to my friends on PlayStation Chat or Discord. But what I love about this is the character of his like, little like grin going, because you know he's at a hard level or trying to do something. But I love that he's sitting. I love love that he comes on a stand with a little hole in his booty so that uh, he can sit easily, but I love this pop. And this is actually one of like the third or fourth gaming pops we have because we have the Mickey and Minnie and then the Hello Kitty. And Bart Simpson as a gamer. That's four, five. I forgot about that Bart Simpson. Yeah, GameStop makes a lot of those exclusives, obviously, because GameStop. <laughs> but it's super cute. 
And then next, um, he did get me some clothing items. I did wear this to New Orleans, so that's why it's like kind of wrinkly. But this is super cute. I love the color. Very New Orleans, like, Tiana vibes. And then you have Naveen on there. Looking so handsome. And it's cute. I love these, like, kind of either tie-dye or ombre or, like, half and half color stuff. So this is super cute. Tim also got me a clothing item, which I'm so excited to have because this is the first character on merchandise I have. <laughs> and it sucks. Now, Tim, do you have this one also? No. Okay. Mine's so different. This is different than the one Tim says, but I love it. It goes beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Because if it's one thing that I love, it's Baymax. But what's better than Baymax? Baymax is a cat. So, personal companion robot. Love socks. And now I can have a look to wear with those cute socks ears that we got earlier this year. I have already worn mine too, so that's why that is also kind of wrinkly. <laughs> Alright, this one, um, I didn't get a chance to wear in New Orleans because, though, like, weather was so weird. <laughs> it, like, the first day was hot, and then the next couple of days, the next day was, like, rainy. Oh yeah, the second day was completely right. And then the next day was like warm, but not like you sweatshirt couldn't wear a sweatshirt. No. You it was like long, like spare jersey weather. And then like the next day was like New Year's Eve, and we had like nicer outfits planned. I realize most of my outfits are Disney, so I probably should start buying normal clothes when I go on vacations, not to Disney, because we're just our vacations are usually just Disney. <laughs> But this is super cute. It's a Princess and the Frog sweatshirt that says NOLA, which, if you don't know, is short for New Orleans. <laughs> but it has, like, the princess um, frog crown there. It says NOLA. It's very well-fitting. So you'll see this in other videos. I'm going to wear this in the video we're going to film about our New Orleans trip. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um... I love this next gift uh -oh. from Tim. You're going to see a lot of me holding this. <laughs> the miracle is you. Not some gift, just you. Uh, it is a replica Encanto. Let me turn this ring light down. This is a replica Encanto candle. You can see the butterfly etching in there. And the best is that it does light up. And so you too can say, the miracle is you. Not some gift, just you. What? What? Wait. <laughs> so bad. Oh dear. Since Christmas is over, he's gonna be so sad. Like, we're kind of both like so sad Christmas is over. Cause I'll, we have to take all of our stuff down. <sighs> But, like, he was so used to, like, every day we have, like, these, like, trees that you could light up, all the ornaments he plays with. Like, he'll just get up, go to the bathroom, turn one of them on. Like, the stinging snowman he plays with. So I'm like, this he could still kind of, you know, play with and do stuff. So, and this is... More than Christmas. I thought that was perfect. Yes. Such a smart idea, Tim. <laughs> this was just, just like a stocking stuffer gift because I thought it was silly. If you could see it, it says dad joke button. Dad joke. So I thought like it was literally going to say dad joke and like I was going to be like, yes. That's what uh, I thought it was going to do, Tim. <laughs> but what's even funnier is it actually tells dad joke. So like we have a button like this for the shade button for Drag Race. Comment down below if you know. It says dad joke. And then you literally just hit it. Oh, it's not on. I named my horse Mayo. Mayo nays. <laughs> dad joke. Around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that they like laugh after it. So. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs wiggling in a pile of leaves? Russell. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> Russell? Brussel. I don't get that Is one. Is that like a England joke? <laughs> when my wife told me to stop impersonating a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. <laughs> Damn no. So that's fun. Little like laughy, happy. So when like instead of turning things on, I could just hit the dead. Yes. Oh, I love sounds. <laughs> um, Tim surprised me with something that was very sentimental to me, and it is the uh, Hallmark Snowman collection. I have been collecting these for years, um, and I'm so excited to see new ones. This is from what we decided, what? 2016. 2016. And this is a different one. Here we go, a jingling, it's such a lovely night. Bells are ringing. I hear singing, look, look at all the lights. Some are twinkling. Some just glow. Some are glowing on a show. Look at those. Um, this is special because it lights up and it moves. This is like, this was a quality uh, figure <laughs> and I love that they also put the year right on the top of the sleigh. So I'm so happy. I'm going to miss putting these all away. I love when it moves and like his hat like goes back and forth. Right? But what's funny is originally I got him the one from the, well, 2022 and then like he opened it in a box swap we were in and I was like, oh dang. So I... Of course, I had to get a different one, but I'm glad I got an older one because, like, they're harder to find. Mm -hmm. And then my aunt actually loves snowmen, so I was able to just give her the one I bought. And it's kind of fun because, like, that's a tradition that, like, we have or I have that, like, we're sharing with your family, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And then Tim uh, found me a beautiful, again, the boxes, I they're already packed away, mm -hmm. but Tim found me this beautiful gym shore of my favorite princess. Coincidentally, today, I was just watching the Ariel uh, sequel, the one with her daughter Melody, where she's horrible to her daughter and lies to her, and she wears, like, clothing that you never see, but look at this beautiful white Florida Lee, or white and pink Florida Lee. She's holding her fork. Her hair looks beautiful. And then the bottom, there it is. This is called Curious Collector, or as I'll say, Hoarder. <laughs> but my f favorite is I forgot in Little Mermaid 2 that she sounds like her father when she's like, you deliberately disobeyed me, Melody. You deliberately disobeyed me. I you deliberately disobeyed me. <laughs> mm, I love her. That is the worst. I love this. And I love that it's like, it matches the scale of the other princesses. So like we can do like a really pretty like new shelf, but I love this one. Such a good finder, Tim. <laughs> Speaking of good finds, he got me a gym shore that I never thought I would own. So this is Lucifer. And it's so much better than that dinky, like, Figaro one that they made. Like, look at the size difference. Well, Figaro's, a, I mean, Lucifer's a bigger cat. Figaro's, I mean, like, tiny. But he has a stand. That's just, like, a little... I know. A little pedestal. A little, like, coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is amazing. So you have Lucifer looking evil and sinister. I love all the Jim Shore patterns, and it goes on his tail and then you have his little um food bowl that says lucifer so pretty and then the tile there all of like these pretty patterns this big booty and this is called devious lucifer so i love this so much so, thank you no problem you're very welcome. I was, I knew you would like that one. And I found that one on the eBay. It did not come in a box, but it came really well packed. And plus, like, it's small enough, I think, that, like, if, when we ever move, that, like, it will be able to remain secure when wrapped mm -hmm. without the original packaging. And then we got one more present from your aunt, right? That's it. And then... Oh! Yeah, I'll show this first. And then um, we did get one present from my aunt together. I've never seen this, I don't think. It's called Picktopia, but it is a Disney game. 
So you know we love some games, so we will be playing this. And it's just kind of like some trivia, like which one of these movies features Big Ben? And then you have to like say which one. Yeah, it's cute. Every On every card there's four pictures and like one of the questions is like pick one of the four. The other ones pick like two of the four, three of the four, right? But then the last question is always like a question about the player. So it's like what player is like... Is, mo is this player most like of these characters? So, like, that was fun. Mm hmm. Yeah. Super cute. So, we might play some of these on TikTok. And then Tim got was so generous because we had a budget, but Tim is able to stretch that dollar <laughs> with hot cash and, like, box lunch money. And, like, he is a brilliant shopper. And so, before I show my uh, voucher for mm -hmm. gift, do you want to talk about said gift and when you placed order? Yeah, so this was on loungefly.com. I'm sure a lot of you probably have heard all of the drama between like people ordering things in November and still don't have them to this day. I've, I've seen a couple of videos where people are starting to get that in. I still have no shipping. So I, obviously it's a loungefly backpack, but I, Bought it on Cyber Monday. They were having crazy sales, like 60% off or something. So I was like, okay, like it's a little bit over our budget, but I'm like, it's fine. It's sentimental. He'll appreciate it. It's cute. So yeah, still waiting on the back. So I had to print out a picture. But this bag is so exciting. It's a full face lounge light bag. And it's not Disney, but Disney adjacent. It's Fievel from the acclaimed film An American Tale and that beautiful song somewhere out there. I will show you more of this bag once it comes in, but American Tale being adopted. My mom used to sing me that song. Like, it makes me cry. It's a really sweet movie. And my mom used to sing me that song as well, which is why it was our dance song at our wedding with both of our mothers. And why that bag is, like, even more special. And funny enough, when I was home at... Michigan for Thanksgiving, my mom washed the Fievel clothing on like that massive plush that was like this big. So I'm gonna bring that back with me to Chicago and once the bag comes, we're gonna have some really cute like photos with Fievel in the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. So, um, so I'm excited for when that comes in. Let us know down below if you guys have had the same issue, if you ordered anything on Loungefly's website and still haven't got it in for Christmas. They like sent this like sad email that's like, oh, here's a coupon for like 10% off. I'm like, what? Who would place another order when they don't have their stuff? The first one, right? And like, uh, not even so giving me stupid. like a credit of like, no. like $10 for a future order. You're just giving me a or discount, free shipping right? Or free coupon or something. Shame on you, Loungefly. It's horrible. So I always recommend if you can, Use small shops. They're so much more reliable, they're faster, their shipping's cheaper. I mean, some things are loungefly.com exclusive, so you can't really get around it, but I try to not use it if I can. Pro tip, friends. <laughs> so yeah, that is our video today. You'll have to let us know what some of your favorites are down below. And you'll also have to let us know how your holidays were and how the start of your new year is going. Yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney, game, pop culture, and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us, and we can't wait to see you more in 2023. Take care and be well. Bye. Bye.